Hello everybody, I'm Chris Pollos from Chromonaut. Welcome to a short video about my recent audio post work on a movie called White Lily. This is a movie written and filmed by enthusiasts who are learning the ropes of movie production. It's an older project, but these things take years to plan and finish. Speaking of which, there are a lot of areas where audio post-production can really improve the final result. Let's look at some areas of the raw material and then let me show you what I did to deliver a polished result. Here's a scene where the mic picked up some pretty disturbing vibrations. In another scene you hear a lot of walking noises from the camera team, although the guy should be alone in this flower shop. A common thing is a high level of background noise you can't always control. In this bar there was a loud ventilation system. In this restaurant the team could only shoot during preparations of the staff for dinner service and you hear a vacuum cleaner and other things. Here on the street the traffic is very loud and you have a hard time concentrating on the dialogue. Now let's look at the solutions. So this scene where the two wake up should of course be romantic and calm and set the scene for the movie. I was able to isolate sounds from elsewhere in that scene and chop them together to get rid of the unwanted noises. Here's before and after. Much less disturbing. In the flower shop scene I reconstructed the audio from scratch. I took a clean sample of compressor noise from another shot in that scene and recorded my own footsteps that I then synced to the man walking. Listen to the before and after. Background noise can be good if it adds to the atmosphere, but too much can drown the dialogue and be disturbing. Let's look at a scene where I had to take some noise away. Here in that bar scene I could suppress a lot of unwanted ventilation noise and leave the dialogue almost untouched, greatly improving understandability. Let's listen. Heute habe ich das Glück noch mal so richtig rausgefahren. Was hast du gemacht? Was hast du gemacht? I did the same to the restaurant scene where the man asks his girlfriend if she wants to marry him. You don't want to have somebody vacuum cleaning next to the camera. Here's before. And after. You can also see it visually. Look at the audio spectrogram before I cleaned it where all the orange parts are background noise and after I cleaned it. It also looks much quieter. And one last example, the scene on the street with a very noisy and loud background. <laughs> to put a cherry on top, I added ambient music to many scenes that blends well with what happens on screen. It sounds as if the music got recorded on location, when in fact it was added later. Let's listen to the raw music of the scene. And now, after I virtually placed it into a portable radio in the kitchen. When there are disturbing sounds or unwanted background noise, music also helps to distract from it. Hey, it's all sound design. In the restaurant scene, the music does not only help to create a cozy atmosphere, but also to further draw the attention away from the vacuum cleaner. Here's that scene without... And with a nice, smooth jazz track on top. Sagst du mir jetzt bitte endlich, was du mit mir vorhast? Oh. <laughs> Und wo sind wir denn eigentlich? Ja, das wirst du gleich sehen. I hope you got an idea of what can be done in audio post-production. Thanks for watching and I'd also like to give a big thanks to director David Borter for giving me the permission to release those sequences. And don't hesitate to contact me if you have audio that needs improvement. My contact address can be found on my website. Thanks for watching, see ya!